to another Indiana Tech special where we go up against the University of Mi Miami. Miami yeah. University, I believe. Jane! Miami, Ohio, throw. University of Miami. For Doomhammer. For Doomhammer. You asked for it. So now off with Secret Mage. I'm really excited to see their shop. I haven't. I don't. Have we seen a shaman since we've been playing? At I don't all? think so. You and me being very big shaman enthusiasts, I'm uh, definitely true. I'm excited. They have a really aggro, like front-loaded Evo shaman with double corridor three. But it, it's like it low-key is good against uh, against Paladin due to its uh, double maelstrom portal, double corridor creeper. Double e devolve. Usually, think you think like, dropping like massive big cards down to like less useful cards or less context specific, but yeah. but dropping everything to something cards is actually really good because it gets rid of all the. the yeah, no, it definitely does. I think devolve. I think used to wasn't really run very often. That along with the the hex nerf wasn't run, but you know silence and all that being sort of a big tech in for most decks against yeah. you know. Maybe like Murloc Paladin, even just maybe Warlock. Yeah, and Devolve pretty good. has a lot there. Mm. Devolve's definitely usually a one of. <laughs> and it depends though on, on what they're running. Yeah. Right now we see a, a one drop Dire Mole. Yeah, double Dire Mole, double. Uh, I'm just going over the Frostbolt and then ramp our Mana Worm. Uh, it feels kind of bad to Frostbolt a Dire Wolf, but it also feels kind of good because it's like you're hitting a 3 health thing. You yeah. Get 3 damage, you might as well do it and get the ramp going. Um, we don't really want to spend, especially also with Lunath and Hand. Yeah, I was going to say the Lunath draw is amazing. There's Toting on turn 2. Okay, so we pretty much have the best Archaeologist turn of all three, And we actually upgrade. Now, An incredible they're running. Discovery. Yeah. Do we trade with the Air Totem, or do we let it sit? I think it just... Because we can win with this kind of curve, right? Yeah, I think you like, just let it sit, because, <laughs> I mean... But the thing is, it actually doesn't change anything, because Maelstrom Portal does one damage to two damage, and... We don't I have to yeah. We're facing a little bit Maelstrom Portal. Like, these two having one health, and then we're still fine. Which is... Yeah. Um, I guess it makes it's better value for Searing Totem 1-1. One, one. It can actually start trading into it, but if, yeah. they, if they start rolling Searing Totems, we can just ping it. So I think it's actually really good to just go aggro. But it looks like we went for the trade. Um, I think I think it's there's just two different sides to playing it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, spell damage is annoying. <laughs> they did go turn but two, so they, they already have a Luna, so they're not really worrying about pushing phase too often. Yeah. At least not right now. Maybe consistently winning the board is probably the best option. Yeah, especially against to or against shaman. Which they, might, they this might a be a token time. shaman. They they have have a a yeah. Turn three. Um, what could they play here? Jade light. Okay. It's a little bit. Of it's a one one. You do want to kind of slow down that. Next secret. Okay. Play. All right, what, what's your play here? I think just, you just you definitely trade the two three and just into counter one, spell one, and hit and then, and then, Yeah, because counter spell's broken right here. Yeah, counter um, spell's amazing. Counter spell can hit so many different things. Uh, we learned just the other day, unstable yeah. evolution does counter all of the bounces of that. I am telling you that actually. I thought you could unstable bait it out and still get the unstable. I remember, I don't remember specifically it happening, but. I remember mana beating in mana bound, and then I just kept casting it anyways. So I'm like, who cares? Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know. I thought it did, but you know. We could have been hacking. I'm not sure. Yeah. We do that a lot. Yeah, we do, we do that. Oh, it's it's evolved. Evolved. That's just a bad the counter. Yeah, so deep, they wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> the next weird secret drawer. Right Pretty good. An incredible discovery. I'm not sure if that actually hits anything. Honestly, the best thing for it to hit is like a corridor creeper, or maybe like a, a mana mana totem. Well, could could hit a uh, the six mana five five taunt. Are they running the thing from below? They must. That's too good of a card, right? You're Pretty running, good. Shaman in general for the last, you know. Two years. <laughs> two or three <laughs> yeah, years. Like they they always run it. It's just too good yeah. not to. 
playing like a three man a five five with Tarn. Yeah. That's the funny thing though, because in the shaman, it was all about getting the three cards out for less. Mm -hmm. But then you never actually want to evolve that. Card, yeah, no. Because it's. <laughs> so they do get their mana tied to stick. <laughs> Next turn. Okay, so we hit the macaw and it's in the uh, potion of blood. We actually drew into perfect damage, but Alunith is still on the board. Yep. Um, them drawing, I, it can be an issue because if they ever get to stabilize and get more value, I think it's bad. But at the same time, I think we're in the perfect position. To well, win. I think you just you tr double trade in Alunith. Yeah. Uh, that seems like what the play to, to me. Do. You mean double trade in Alunith? Yeah. Do. yeah. Double yeah. trade Manitai. That's like a greedier play, I guess. Uh, well, I guess actually, How so? Gr well, I was thinking it's greedy for board, but it, I guess it's like, because it's like, you're, you're pushing less damage. If you hit this right here and then push two damage, I'm thinking that we can end the game as soon as possible. Yeah. But I'm not sure how much their card draw would change. What to do? Because they don't have They're not running. They're not running. What's it called? So it looks like we're just going to push through. Oh, okay. Maybe, uh, maybe just Firelands next turn? Like, I'm not sure. I think, I think there's also a reason Depends. that. Considering that our Aluna turn will be a dead turn no matter what, mm -hmm. it's okay to yeah, save the place. So, you can have Potion Climb with one of them. Alright. That's pretty funny. That cuts down on the amount of. Honestly, oh though, man. That is horrifying. That is not okay. Well, they didn't have. And, they and the double spell damage. That's pretty crazy. They played it last turn, though. They have three spell damage right now. But if they had Unstable Evolution, they could have played it last turn. Yeah. So. We actually have to get rid of that, otherwise yeah. we will hard lose. Um, and they have three spell damage right now. Not that it really matters, but hmm. they're, gonna they're gonna hit us with that seven damage spell. Yeah, no, seven damage uh, jade lightning. Yeah. Um, so this is kind of interesting. Would you recommend Firelands portaling with a two three here? I was actually thinking that. Like it's kind of we're still the, the it's, it's, delaying it's crap, the but I mean. We just hit face, go face a little bit more. With like a, a middle do? of the pack what draw next do? turn, we still aren't losing out on the Aluna turn. Because if we're making use of our mana every turn, then if we if we uh, Firelands this turn, we can just uh, Sorcerer's Apprentice Aluna next turn. Like, we're constantly making use of all of our mana. And oh, it runs out on me. Are, like, yeah. It's like, it's like, it's like, that's what it looks like. Trade, but yeah, I, it's just you can't let that pop off. Otherwise, they're gonna have four, eight drops for free. Wow, that's incredible, though. We were like one card away from them having the combo. Yeah, a little scary. Yeah, but that's like Evo in a nutshell. Yep, what? anything can happen, and it's a. <laughs> Heart of the could be pretty nasty. Oh man, Joe Mom. That's actually. Oh, that's a great one. Yeah, we got. Do cross the Indian. Just like you. The power is here. You need only to see it. To see your Diana Fireball. All right. That's actually so good, but they kind of have to chill, Ma. Trade and then, and then Evo and then just do the three three trade maybe, because they're looking to stabilize. They're not looking yeah. to win. Wow. Okay. They might look to win then with the taking out half our health. Yeah. Oh. oh, we've got the other Jade Light. Because we have to look for an answer. Yeah. God, we're taking 14 damage this turn. If they, they run, uh, I think they're on double power bars. I can't quite remember. Um, this does 7 damage, which is not enough to kill this, which is pretty important. Mm -hmm. But we could go fire. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. I think we should have gone forbidden and then fireball forbidden this. Right? Maybe. I mean. Because that's, that's a lot of damage. If yeah. they've got bloodlust next turn, we lose. Yeah. So. Maybe they're looking for like going for like a big greed. Maybe find some frost novas or something like that. But if we don't start dealing what with their board, do? our what damage won't be able to, to handle because we're running secret mage, so we don't have any uh, board.
before, clear. That was horrifying. Yep, a little bit. Um, Time runs out on me. I might be not even looking to play a seeker at this point, just to ball see what they get. Fireball, but... So we are actually generating a lot of value. Okay. Job done. We will shake this world to our will. Right now is actually unfortunate because we want to have start having some damage and some things. And we can, we can, we can secret up fireball and the to get rid of the. Three three gives them two damage from face. Um, they're pushing twelve, 12 damage yep. this turn. Um, They've got a blizzard too. Does our our lineup doesn't run ice block? Does oh we have one. It does, block. yeah. So I mean we can generate an ice block pretty easily. Blizzard mm. keeps us alive. Yeah. Dude, getting that Blizzard was pretty clutch. We have four mana after that, so do we just look for a Primordial Blizz? Or do we look for something to... I think you definitely Primordial, either no, before or after, to, to look for more for more stabilization. To get, what to here's do? Here's one card in hand, you know? What to Anything do? that can get those minions off the of I just fireball. Because he's got a massive ball, right? Yeah. So he could easily cut True. all that damage. That, that Job done. Revel in the power. Um, we've got a lot of value, mm. and we're full. So we're gonna mill the next card we draw. Yep. Um, I'm not sure if, we got a if lot going of aggro right here is, is is better than stabilizing. Though. I'm not sure. Yeah. Tech. Yeah. Hi, Jake. Says, hmm. Llama Fever 3. Go Warriors. Go Warriors. With two exclamation Hashtag Windiana. Yeah, hashtag Windiana. Keep that going. Um, so here they're gonna look to use their hero power. I believe to kinda like heal. It's almost like a heal. Pretty much. Um, that's really good for them. They picked out a really healthy target, so we have a hard time dealing with it. Um, they have five damage on face. Must be chosen. At this point, we don't need it. We need we, we need to get rid of the board. Yeah. Um. They're gonna be looking for an ice block. Dragon Dragon Fury. Fury. That, that's not consistent. Is that consistent enough? It might be. I mean, I you can get. I, I think, I think the lowest in the drop in the deck is a two, two drop. Uh, frostbolt, frostbolt, right? One left, one frostbolt left. What are the bigger spells? Secrets are left. We have the ice block left. Three yeah. damage would be pretty good. It kills everything and then brings the other down to three health, um, which plays with Medivh's valet. What to do? But, yeah, what so to what you do? Would use, nah, you don't really have enough mana. Time oh, runs out on me. Condition considering we actually mill for three damage. Yeah. Alright. Looks like they're looking for uh, face damage. All he has to do is hit us in the face and we lose. Next turn. Yep. Guaranteed. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, we have ice block, so. 
But it plays around Ice Block. We lose at the end of our turn. Um, yeah. he brings us a three, and, we, and there's only two cards left. We draw one, and then we draw one, two, three, and two and three is one, and then two damage. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, we'll go at the three end of damage. next turn. We'll go one, two, three. He loves you. No one can hold me. Do you not hit me? I dream and the world trends. doesn't change anything. Yeah. Um, we're still dead no matter what. Is there a way that we can construct lethal? We have a fireball. Six brings him to eleven. Well, primordial glyph into some kind of wait. Is this only mage spells? Mm. We yeah. Gotta, we gotta find Maybe like a breaker. <laughs> is it only mage spells? Okay, so this gives us a reroll on what we get. It's like, oh, Cindergrossa freezes it. Okay. It freezes it, but it's still we still die. Next turn. Next turn, yeah. Um hitting him in the face with that and stabilizing. Puts more damage on board. There's no way that we can win here. No, you you, you fire lens face and then bet the Cindergrossa. We have many and you, you, oh, out on you. you always die when you draw the next turn. The power is here. You need only. Well played. Um. That's that's crazy. Like when when your board gets clogged up, and you can't find an answer to get all the stuff out on your. If you're playing on the back foot as secret mage, you just mill yourself to death. Yeah, with Alunus. pretty much. Um, something to consider. I don't know. I Alunus is typically a win condition every time. Um, <laughs> Alunus is typically a win condition every time. But um. Maybe playing it later might have helped, but I, it's, there's not really anything you can do because you can't expect them to really clock you up that hard. Yeah. So Miami University of Ohio goes up one in the series against Indi Indiana Tech. People are going to be like, why do you guys call yourself that? We're going to because it's really windy. Yeah. It's extremely windy. So windy. We fly the tech out here. Jane! Versus Gulda! Yeah. Your soul but shall be mine! Sure you asked for right. it. So is, I mean, I haven't seen the edge of it. Yeah. So when I, mean, I take a picture, it's all... Yeah. Yeah. Like, Makes sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Segoy with the tentacle slap. Big fan. So we're running our secret mage again. Um, it feels good to keep running. Job's done. Yep. I think we might have rather had... Uh, Paladin against this matchup, or maybe our priest with lots of silences, but um, Secret Mage can pretty much win any matchup with tempo. Yeah. What are the big counters to Secret Mage, though? Um, okay. I, I guess like Priest, or like Car you know, Gang, or Paladin? Dex, Dex with the, yeah, like Paladin Dex with a lot of little minions, a lot of little spells. Yeah. Just a lot of, a lot of like, out-tempo y. Yeah. Sort of. An incredible discovery! Kind of like counters. Even then, I mean, you can't really play around the the, the burn to the face. So, I mean, Warlock is still pretty good against Secret Mage because you, you heal yeah. so much. Yeah, that's true. The end is no. coming! Just looking at Foresight there. The end is coming. Primordial Glyph to develop a card is probably a better place in the Yeah. Stamper. Okay. 
counterspell all the way, right? Yeah. Like, it's just, that is that is one of the best things in this matchup. <coughs> if you can stop a, a dual effect, um, any kind of AoE that they're trying to slow you down, yeah. uh, anything that can kind of throw a cog in their plans. Also, getting a secret. It's funny that it's discounted, that we're probably going to be able to get it out with Kirin Tormage, but I think next turn we could actually just Kirin Tormage bring out Explosive Rune and then play Counterspell. We also have an option to play Medivh's Ballet with it, too. Fix volume. Can you guys turn up your volume on your mic? Hello. I think the game was just a bit too loud. It was, like, all the way up here. It's possible. Also, we're very soft speakers. <laughs> we, like, we like the input from the stream. Yeah, thank you, guys. Okay, so they dirty ratted out our uh, Kieran Tormage. Good body to have, but not what we want to see. <coughs> um, lots of different ways to play around this. Um, we've got both valets. We want to start having secrets out. We can probably... So they're going for the... The face play. Mm -hmm. And I like that too, because it just works really well with mana. If you can match four mana to six damage, six health... Um, you're not really losing damage. Both valleys yeah. end up being, they end up being a six fireball. damage anyway. And a body. So. so doing this allows you to make more effect out of your mana. Because if we would have like played Medivh's Valet into like Counterspell, and then... Or, you know, the other yeah, way, I know what you And mean. then it's like, you trade. You're left with like a really easy uh, defile board. Yep. It's just not really a good situation. Smart play there. Smart um, play. So we're going to smack them in the face, and then... End our turn. Oh, we already end our turn? Sorry. I'm slow. Or did we end our turn? It says enemy turn. We ended our turn. Yeah. Not paying attention. Um, but next turn, looking to make a five mana play. We have explosive rune into Medivh's valet. We also have counterspell into double Medivh's if we want to target um, one specific person. Like here. Mm. Well, actually, we have Frostbolt, which is probably a better play. Oh, that was such a nasty draw. Holy moly. So you could play this and this and this all together. Yep. And that's probably like the best play. Well, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Now the funny thing is that if they play Cobble Lackey, is that five mana five drop? Yeah. That's bad because then it blows up an explosive rune and then they get. I mean, it's fine because it's still like it's gonna happen eventually. Yeah. But it works really well. Yeah, I mean, more face damage. We must hear your dulce. What? Dulcet? Dulcet. Dulcet. Dulcet? What does that mean? It's like sexy. Like, oh, really? Not sexy, but like... Someone thinks we're sexy? Not sexy, but like soothing, like deep, monotonous. Oh, okay. But, yeah. yeah. Warm. Yeah. Ensconced within those sweet, sweet hats. <laughs> yeah. Llama fever. Yeah. I, I think do. I know who that is. No idea. I think that's probably one of our biggest fans, to be honest. Probably. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm gonna go ahead and wait for the Kieran Tor. Just gonna double valet with the counter spell. Yeah, so we get the really good value out so of it's that a crazy blip. play. Yeah, being able to on five mana deal, put two two threes on board, deal six damage, and play a, a, a secret is insane. <coughs> it also sets up really well for next turn where we have two three mana plays with this. Wait, what was that? We just bopped the coin. Um, Got him. Something you run into. So they play Hellfire here, clear the whole board, bring okay. them down to sixteen. Um, we definitely want to start like putting them in range to be really low health mm -hmm. coach yeah turn game down volume down we did or should we do it in game as well yeah sure go ahead just cause we don't know what if I just left oh it's not even loud yeah I'm not even lying. it was like all the way up here Oh, was it? I didn't even realize. We're on a five minute delay? <laughs> okay, so they hit us with the Hellfire. We went for the... Okay, so we drew into AI, Arcane into Intellect, which allowed us to see more of our deck and thin it out. Okay. Um, which is really good because we didn't want to play... Counter spell again, all right. We didn't just want to play Fire or Frostbolt on top of this. And just like do damage because this is kind of better to burst them at the end. Yep. Um, 
That's really good, though. Looking for a <laughs> little at this point in the game. And so we actually AI'd into a counterspell? Is that what happened? Yeah. That's really good, too. Um, we've actually had... Uh, it's really good that we've had um, activators for our secrets every single secret we've played. Mm. That's pretty good. Um, but they are definitely starting to get to the point where they like to turn the game around. Okay, so they brought out Rin. Pretty hard to get through. If we drew like a fireball right here, that'd be really good. Mm -hmm. But uh, no bueno. Um, w this play would have been a lot different if we played our explosive rune. It might have actually blown this bad boy up. Um, it would have, yeah. It would have put us at, you know, doing like four damage to face. Um, but we, we do have our AI, or our counterspell up, up. So we're definitely going to be waiting for something big there. Um, what happens if you counterspell one of the Rin cards? Do they just not get the anything? Yeah. That's funny. It does nothing. <laughs> there's, I, I don't think there's odds of that happening, though. Because if they play, it's a five mana card that allows you to cook five times and get the 2-2, two, two, uh, two, two, a 3-3, three, three, so on to a 5-5 five, five out. Yeah. And then you get the big card that blows up our deck. Um, I don't. I think they would test with like a defile or something like that because they. Yeah, it, it doesn't happen often. Yeah, there's no way. I don't think I've ever heard of it or seen it. So. Although we do have two secrets. Yeah, we have two secrets up. They're probably gonna. They're probably gonna understand that we're we've had lots of cards up. Yeah. So here, do you think we go for the frostbolt trade here to kill Rin? Possibly. Or do we just wait? Do we ping it down? I think you just ping it. Ping face. Ping face. Okay. Maybe we go for the all-in trade. It looks like our fireball's grayed out, but I think it's because we just chill. Um, we don't want to sacrifice any of our reach on board. We've got a lot of damage, or at least a little bit of damage to push, and so I can understand why we don't want to hit Ren. But I kind of was hoping that we kill it and make them think that they want to play it and start starting that value train. Just get them with the counter spell. Because that would be so funny. <laughs> just blow it up right oh, in yeah. front of them. So they dark packed it. JK, Counter they spells. don't. Lull. Um, there's a chance that they were trying to play into that. Oh, well, that works out too. They had two answers. Um, okay. Wait. I was going to say, I was yes. like, wait, <laughs> Death Rattles Death just put rattles. everything on pause, right? Yeah. Um, so, and then sometimes it don't, they don't. Yeah, that's weird. Like, you, you kill a whole board and then it's all the Death like Rattles just go. series of Death Rattles just over. popping off. Yeah. Our lineup doesn't have uh, Pyroblast in it. Mana Worm is actually not a bad card to get here. I mean, obviously, you don't want to top deck a one drop in this stage of the game, but we can at least just like curve out and play. Oh, but we actually have one out already, so we can't play it and charge it up. Yep. <coughs> um, Frostbolting face here. Why not? It's kind of like if we draw something big next turn, we can't ping and do it, so yeah. we might as well start putting damage in. Hey, they didn't get healing from that dark pack, though. True. So even though they had a better play, pretty good play. Um, pretty good odds that they actually look for something that they can play with eight mana. So yep. a five mana taunt at best, probably. But this also takes four damage, and then two goes to face. Yeah. When this comes out, so if he go, if they go greedy then there's a good chance that we get to hit them in the face next turn. Because I think they're, they've are they got five mana left, so they might not have anything to play. Yeah, Double going black. going big would be, a, I think, a mistake at this point in the game. Yeah, but they might not have an option, because this is also Discover a, Yeah. Uh, I mean, it would be a mistake if, if there wasn't any other good mm -hmm. options, obviously, but, you know. They're definitely taking their time. And so this is going to put them at nine health. Yep. Um, Fireball can kill them if we can go face. Um, they actually don't have a target to dark pact at this point. They'd have to summon a card and then dark pact it. <laughs> don't off summon, okay. Bring on the train, man. Bring it on. Yeah, they had to go low for that, definitely. Um, they're dealing damage to their face, and then they're going to dark pact their 2 1. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so they were able to fit it in. They're back up to 15 health. Um, we're kind of just chilling. Primordial Glyph is great here. Okay. Um, it allows us to kind some of draw, some stuff. burn, anything really. Frostbolt's pretty Another ideal. Frostbolt, okay. Um, Flame Geyser could have some value to it. It gives you 
two and then one, so it's kind of like three damage if it lives, but probably not realistic. Um, yeah, no. We definitely want to look for playing this, panging, and then going <sighs> face with this, putting them at about 11, or 10 health. Um, we kind of just have to ride out the value train, or, well, the tempo train, and just hope to get bolt, ping. Both dark packs being Secret. down. The Hit only, for five, okay. The only thing that we're running into is Void Lord. That's really the only thing. Void Lord into, uh, what's that guy, dude's name? Summons Little Demons? It's big, spooky Death Knight? Yeah, that guy. Yeah. Blood big Reaver Goldan. Goldan. At first I thought you were talking about the dude who spawns two ones. Two ones? The mage one? No, not that guy. The He's like a neutral demon legendary. So they stonehilled into stonehill into stonehill. That's a pretty good strategy, I think, for them. It might be the. It might be the other copy of stonehill. Actually, I'm not sure. Oh no, just stonehill, stonehill, stonehill. They've only, only played one genuine stonehill. It's a bit ridiculous, <coughs> but you know. Okay. So we definitely like frostbolts. Um, put about four of them in our deck. We're kind of just like hoping that. Alunus comes around and they have nothing to do. Yeah. But I think right here, I think they've got Doom Guards in their hand, in, or maybe like two cubes, Doom Guards, um, any tech card. Actually, I don't even think they have many tech cards in their deck. Well, they might have a Geist. Uh, I don't think they do. I think they only had Geist in one deck, and we banned it or something like that. Okay, yeah. so here comes the Void Lord. Okay. Out. That's what they were looking for. Um, they don't have a way to kill their cube, unless they set up like a nasty like. Defile, but they've already used one. So that's Alunith, what we were right. looking for. We pretty much have to Alunith ping Frost their face. Ping face. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. I think you all in. I, I think you all in. Because we've got double fire lens. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, we do have double fire lens. we got one fireball. Um, How many I think cards you do. Left? I think you do. I mean, you've got one fire lens, two fireballs. You've got. We have both cobble crystal runners, so those are extra cards to come out. Yep. Just to pressure. Um, Push in a polymorph, ice block. We have another AI. Another, another AI, yeah. yeah. Both Mendees are gone, so really we're just looking at... Okay, so we got a potion of polymorph. That's pretty good. Um, I think we were supposed to frostbolt this turn, though, because since it's two mana, it, it's like saying... Well, I guess if we have to get through this 3-9. It's kind of like an either-or thing, but it, it's two mana, so that means it takes up a ping damage, so if you could ever fit it in, you almost want to. It depends on your pathway to victory. Yeah, I'm not sure. Because if we draw the extra burn, if we draw double fire lands, it doesn't really change much because we're gonna that'll overcap the damage. Yeah. Um, because we just need two anyways. But it's hard to say if we were to get a ping and a frostbolt in, and then ping and fire lands, it kind of makes up for the damage. Yeah, I think I think you should hit phase. Because I mean, wow. Okay. They, they got the ooze. Pretty good play for them. Um, hopefully it's too late. Hopefully we got enough off of that six mana draw three cards. You think? Hopefully. All right. So looking for the fireball fire still. Is there any like? Uh, wait, if we get no no if you if we fire lands into a abomination, deal two damage to face. Mm. So we got a crystal runner and fire lands. That's pretty good. Um, we can't get. We're not in kill range. I don't think. Well, mm -hmm. I guess there's a way to activate cube with doom guards, but I don't think that they have a way to do it since they were forced to use their dark pack so early. Mm -hmm. Um. I they would they would have the doom pack which they don't have anymore. Yeah, and they can't really set up a defile with two two health and then a five and a nine. There's not really a way to do it. Um, we're kind of in a comfortable spot because they're so low with le like a less amount of options. And one of these cards is uh the dark pact, or not yeah, dark pact. Polymorph, sorry. Polymorph. Okay. Polymorph frostbolt ping cabal. No, not even gonna. It's because we don't want to give them a way to get their possessed lackey out. Yeah. So this sets up for lethal next turn. Yep. Without overextending and giving them something. And I think that's a big heads up play is the, keeping the firelands at hand to make sure that they don't have a minion to hit their uh, cobble, cobble lackey off. Yeah, playing the polymorph or too. Or possessed lackey. That's puts what us out of that scary maybe cube with doom guard sort of combo. Yeah, that's true. Especially if it if they uh, if they cube, it'll kill their card and then go to a, a what's it called? Yep. Which they kind of have to do. Okay, so it looks like a double defile no. to mortal coil. Go ball, okay. Did they just do that in the wrong order, or are they doing something so big brain that I can't? Yeah, I don't really. Trolling. Yeah, I think they're just like. Oh, they got spell stones. Double spell stones. Okay. 
I feel like they could have got that to pile off. It might not even want it. Ice block's really good here. Um, really good, yeah. They have 6, 8, 11, 12 damage. So we I think you just fire here. lands ice block because it's... I, I, I mean, it you need to. You, yeah, I, I think you even also play Crystal Runner just because. Cause, I mean, you well, yeah. why not, right? Um, we don't really have a way to get rid of the 3 8. There could easily be another one of these in their hand, too. Maybe not, but. <sighs> I wonder. Okay. That's actually so good. <laughs> That's so funny that they came out. I still think Abomination is probably like one of the better ones because it's like you can get damage to their face by turning it around. Um, we're going to probably play our Crystal Runner anyways just because we're in a kind of tighter spot. They're just going to pink those. Okay. Well, I think it's kind of like saying we're playing to either... We're playing to win, right? Because if they have more damage in hand... Like, there's not really any damage that they run in their deck besides like Hellfire. Doom Guard. Hellfire, I mean, I'm Doom not sure Guard? if they run... I don't think they run Doom Guard, do they? Oh, it's a Control Warlock. I think it's so. not a cube block. Why are we saying that? That's why we should have the list up. What are we doing? All right, so just uh, we're trolling, by the way. Um, it's it's a Control. They've got Double Twisting Nether. That's what they're waiting on. But they don't want to do that because the only way for them to win is keeping the little board that they have up. So there's the other Void Lord. They got their... So they got Lifesteal. They brought themselves back up to 9 health. Looking for a fireball still. Yeah, and so this is going to force us to play our ice block. Um, so now we just fire lands, ice block, and pray that we get our, what, we've got a 1 in 4 chance of getting fireball? Yep. Or no, 2 in 4. <coughs> or no, yeah, 1 in 4. We generated 1 from Kabbalist Tone? Or was that last game? Yeah, it was last game, yeah. What's this big boy? We used 1 on Dirty Rat. Give a friendly beast plus 2 plus 2. That's pretty good for us. I don't think so. Yeah, it's not. Oh wait, that is a beast. Look at that's crazy synergy. Yeah, but it doesn't like yeah, you know. <laughs> so they're gonna try to pop us. Um running the sheep and the three nines in would put us at Oh, they did a three three and a two two. What are they looking for? Unsure. They use both spell stones. They use both their dark packs. They have no more healing. And so here comes the pop. Whoa. Now defile. they have a double dis mistress. Of they don't have defile? They don't? They don't. They don't. They whiffed one early, and then they just use this other one. Twisting nether. Okay. Which is just setting up for the your move play, where they just have to wait. And so now we have to draw something good. Wow. Yeah, it doesn't matter, because they were able to heal up over to the amount. That was crazy. They played that really well with the amount of healing. They were able to fit as much healing as possible. Um, but yeah. Um, so that means University of Ohio at Miami. That's not true. Miami University of Ohio is now going up 2-0 in the series. So now, yep, yep. dude, this is this is how we like to do it. I don't like we, to do it like this. This is this is how. Got that 80 G's, boy. <laughs> um, yeah, so now we're gonna we're, we're gonna hit him with that that run back. We gotta hit him with the run back. So we're we are liking this secret mage. Apparently. Um, to be fair, our mulligans are getting better and better. Yeah, so we are getting really good mulligans. But we're never getting we're average. never getting the coin, so Yeah, we're, coin is where you just like go crazy. But we have a really good hand here, so man worm I mean this hand plays itself. Yep.
So now we just gotta win three games in a row, basically against this. Uh, I'll say, what is their priest? What are they? Oh, they either run combo or big. Spiteful. Spiteful. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think. What do you think it is? I think it's spiteful, honestly. I hope it is, because that's fun. I like to see spiteful stuff. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta figure out what's the perfect combo to kill these guys, you know? Punch him in the head. Yeah, so we're gonna have to punch him in the head. Uh, we're kind of waiting this out. They're going to have to play this hand a lot slower because they've got a lot slower of a deck. And we're just going to be powering through it. They're coining on turn two. For the Potion of Madness trade. Okay. To the Shadow Warfare. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of... I can see them having... To, it, it seems wasteful, but at the same time, it's like... You know, you might as well play to like, hey, we don't want to lose, right? Pretty much, yeah. And if they slow the game down, maybe they can stay alive. So I'm guessing it's combo. Because they play two yeah, low cost two spells. tiny spells, yeah. No spiteful. Feels boring, man. So now we're just chilling, dude. We're just trying to draw into... Medivh, Kieran Tormage. Trying to get some value out of here. We really want to have a Lunathon 6, so I think we can overrun. But, yeah, they're just going to play this one really slow. And just try to heal up and max at 30 over and over again. Archonologist is pretty good here. Yep. Um, do you Archonologist ping? That's just your chilling. It's not like we're like putting them in a weird spot by pinging. It's no. just kind of like... You have There's to. There's no point in frostbolting. And also it makes it kind of weird because if they want to heal, like they're only healing for one. Yep. How is everyone? Yo, everyone is good, man. Everyone is goo. Got him. <coughs> I like my jokes. So, this is combo priest. Oh, I get it. <laughs> so this is a combo priest. They're looking to play like some mid-range minions. They're looking to buff the health, kind of just stay alive until they can make a big dude, combo its health into its attack, and bop us. Yep. Um, let's say let's let's go forwards. Let's say we we play this out. We we get aggro. We win. What do we play next into this? We kind of have to play with our best decks over and over again because we have to consistently win until we win three in a row. Yep. Because we're down two games. So what's the second deck we play? Jeez, I don't know, man. I don't even know what they banned. They banned our warlock. We were assuming they were gonna ban our warlock. Hearthstone oh, is my game. Hmm. Why are you yawning? Do Stop, you yawn, dude. dude? This guy is always yawning on stream, man. So they're gonna shadow visions. Ha! Get wrecked. More like shadow waste of time. Um, and they're gonna heal face because they're bored. Got him. Uh, Firelands is kind of cool because even though it's like kind of like a weirdly tempo card later game, it's good because you can get more dudes on board. And if you can get a five drop, high roll a five drop, you can be pushing five to six damage a turn. Unless you get a crappy five drop. Yeah. What are some crappy five drops you can get? Oh man, like the 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 bomber chick deal five to your face. The two two. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Do, Battle cry deal five damage to something and then death rattle deal five damage to face. Yep. I love that card. Yeah, that's. Where's silly. my Windiana? Flow war tort flower tortilla. Whoa, wheel for nine. <laughs> yeah, so firelands. We don't even care about primordial glyph because we don't like options. So a five drop five five is pretty much run of the mill five. Yep. Um, we pretty much counteract their healing and get a dude out. Uh, and then that plays into Dragonfire, so they're just gonna board clear. Okay. We are right here. And then I'm gonna put a Pog. How do you spell Pog Champ? P O G G A. Yeah, but don't you have to, like. Oh, it's, uh. 
I'm pretty sure it's just P-O- It's a capital C, isn't it? Yeah, capital C-A-M-P. Every time someone puts a big brother, I think it's Tyler. <laughs> Alright. I, I did some, like, research today. Guys. On that guy day, because I don't really understand league culture at T1? all. T1? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, why is this guy freak out and yell? Because and, like, that's his thing. Yeah, but, like, <laughs> why? Because he's toxic. That doesn't make sense. So it looks like they went for the five five mana or whatever make a five guy. Yeah. Five guys, burgers and fries, shadow essence. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> we now have a copy Sick. of Shadow Essence. For free. We Get could make a five five for free. Crystal Runner. What's the best five five for us? It doesn't matter. Mana worm. It doesn't matter. Yeah, five five mana worm's the best one, is it? That's hilarious. That'd be a spooky mana worm. So it looks like Yashiraj brought out um, the Obsidian Statue. Yep. Uh, which is the worst thing that could happen for in this situation, because we're looking to burn them, and Obsidian Statue actually heals every time it takes damage, or does damage. And it also kills one of our dudes when it dies, so pretty annoying. Um, well, I mean, you could Forbidden Flame it, and then just make, a, make two 5-5s. Five I think... So it looks like we're going to go ham and try to distract their... Mm, oh man, this play. Okay, so we just like perfectly no! use our mana. We forbidden flame the 4-7. And wow. it hits our only card to attack his Yashiraj with. So... Here's how this goes. Basically, if this summons another 9-4 or 4-9, we're very sad. If it summons 8-8 eight, eight, or what's his face? It's a little bit better? Well, I guess the 8-8's pretty spooky, but is pretty okay. It depends on what they run. Um, if they trade here, that's kind of weird. No, it's not. Just kidding. Um, this game got a lot harder. Um... We don't really have a way out, back from this. <laughs> so they brought out their other Yashiraj, and we're actually getting out tempoed by a big priest. So uh, we're taking this uh, game pretty well, I think, is uh, something to consider. Potion of Polymorph is really good against like big stuff in uh, Warlock decks because they have to play all of them. But actually against Big Priest it's really bad because they summon all of their things indirectly from their deck. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not talking about anything. I hate this game. I just want to just go home hey, and, and, and sleep and sleep, yeah. Yeah, you know. yeah, I hope you feel better now. Yeah, feel better. Thanks. I hope you uh, find $5. <laughs> Yeah, we're uh, we're taking this one pretty well. Um, <laughs> man, never lucky. So they bopped us right in the face. So that seals the deal for University of uh, Miami, University of Ohio. The shutout. Uh, the shutout, the 3-0. Our secret mage could not handle the pressure. Um, GG's them. We had a good time playing. We're going to get ready for next week's game. Monday, Tuesday, 9 o'clock. Tournament starts. Um, we'll catch you guys later. Thanks for tuning in. We love you. But we won't spoil the game because you guys are going to... You're in tune for a good ending. Bye-bye yeah. and thanks for it.